So I mean, as you can see, last time we shot here, all this shit was closed. It's like everything. This was like literally a ghost town. Now you can see everything's back open. I wonder if the McDonald's is open. This is, uh, so if you want like new McDonald's items, I, I learned this trick here. Like, yeah, I love McDonald's. I don't care, you can hate on me for that. It's a delicious like go-to safe food here, especially if you got a bad stomach. You're not gonna get sick. But this is where they test out new menu items. Um, so they'll test out anything that they want to do new here uh, before it hits any other McDonald's in Vietnam. This is like essentially the test location for a new style McDonald's food. Looks like they have like a new chicken. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like a chicken, some kind of new chicken. With some kind of spicy, yeah, some really spicy new chicken. Previously they had a really good burger here. It was like a teriyaki burger and they had the uh, the uh, stringy fries like uh, like they have in Hong Kong that they were trying here. So, just interesting. I just thought I would let you know. Like, this is probably the premier McDonald's. Um, I've had lots of good McDonald's here. You'll see once we get into Anam that there's a massive amount of white people. It's like the... Uh, expat grocery store because you can get a lot of stuff from a lot of different countries I'll show you I'll show you chat don't worry I think it's this way I mean who cares if it's not we can just take a look around you know somewhere around here oh yeah I know New Kulon Kulon is uh, an area in Hong Kong Man, I'm gonna miss Hong Kong. It's really a shame that I'll probably never be able to go back there. Unless some kind of liberation war happens. It totally bums me out. Used to be, still is, top five cities in the world for me. Just makes me super sad I won't be able to go back. So we need like a little, yeah, need a little handbag. We're gonna get some gobble ghoul. We're gonna get it. They're actually gonna do, wow, they got a fucking bagel. I haven't had a bagel in forever. Holy shit. Maybe we'll get a bagel. I haven't had a bagel in a year and a half. There are bagel places here, but... As you can see, these two Westerners are not concerned with the virus. Let's see what they got on sale for cheese. That's what's dependent on what I make my... Uh, mac and cheese out of. Usually Gouda is on sale, weirdly. And it makes actually a really good, uh, what's this limo light? Xin chào. Can I try this one? Yeah. Uh, I just want to try it. See what it tastes yes. like. Yeah. I mean, that's a good price. Let's see what it's like, guys. It's gotta, we gotta make sure it has that consistency to melt. I mean, this cheddar is super cheap. We might get this cheddar. Look how cheap that cheddar is. 26,000 for 100 grams. Wow, cheese has come way down in price. It was so expensive the last time I was here. Parmesan's always expensive. It's about $8. Come on. Okay, I'll take 100 grams of that. You want to slide? No, block? just one block. Okay. Come on. Let's try it out. It's a pretty mild, mild cheese. No Gouda, weird. They usually almost always have like Gouda. We're looking for mac and cheese cheese, so. Gotta have that like milk consistency. Oh, there's the Gouda right there. See, look at how cheap it is. 31,000 Vietnamese dong for 100 grams. So we're gonna get 200 grams of that, and then we'll get 100 grams of this cheddar. I like my mac and cheese cheesy. 
I only have it like once every two months, so. That's fine, that's fine, fine. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> The Gouda makes a really good mac and cheese. I'll probably use this for the top. This cheese here. She's very nice. I like it when they're nice and they really like their job. So much different in America, right guys? I'm sure maybe from wherever your countries are too. Okay, yes, the, the Gouda? 200 gram. Same as this. Come on. I mean, cheese prices are insane. This Gouda was uh, 80K for 100G. This cheddar cheese was for 100 gram, 100K, like two months ago. So this is 140. Why, I, li I like to try different cheeses. Oh, she's working hard over here. <laughs> Then we're gonna get some nice, uh, nice piece of salmon. Get a nice steak. Have some surf and turf. So yeah, we're gonna do like a little surf and turf. Oh, the amount of emails and comments and stuff I get, it's insane. I can start to understand how like people uh, just don't reply once they're big enough. Okay. 180, that works. Okay, 100 grams of the cheddar. Cheddar is. Uh, 150. Come in. She'll learn. 180 is close. Uh, Emoy, just make it 200. 200 gram. Yes. Hello, baby. So, I mean, they got all the cheeses you can get. Then we need to get something for, for, for lunch meat. What do we got here? I think maybe like this one, this mild salami provolone. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I think we'll do 50 grams of that. I got that nice bread we saw I bought on in Quan Tri. Have a little gobble ghoul. Bruchettes. I do like blue cheese. Winnie hates it though, so I don't I don't buy it often. Well wow, even the anchor cheddar, the natural non-colored cheddar is cheap. Thirty thousand for a hundred gram. Super good prices. So yeah, we'll get this Z cheese. I think that'll be good on a gobble gulia. Okay, and now the mild salami provolone. Yes. Yeah. 50 grams, sliced. Sliced. Thin, thin, come in. We've got cheese. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, ten dollars of cheese. I mean, pre-COVID, this would be $30 a cheese, roughly. So we're getting really good, really good deals. Like I said, I only get to come here once every few months, at best nowadays, so. Oh, they got queso. Tomorrow I'm gonna meet with the guy from Soul Burger. So he's got possible business opportunities. We'll see how that goes. Where are we at here? 10 minutes on time. That's good. Bong. You can go more than that. You can go 100. Yeah. Okay, okay, bong. So yeah, this is gonna be for a sandwich. I don't know if we'll have sandwich today, probably tomorrow. That bread holds up real good. 
three or four days you can get out of that bread, especially if you put it in a bag and seal it. It gets real soft and then you take it out for about four hours and it gets really crunchy again. Maybe we'll have a little, little Sammy when we get home. We'll see. Come on, thank you. So that was a uh, hundred and sixty-five. So that was the most expensive one. But I mean, that was like a little bit more exotic from Italy, so harder to get. So fully understandable. Now we'll get the nice steak. What time? One hundred forty-one for a hundred gram. I do like the tenderloin. It's usually the best best cut for me. Is this Australian? Do we have the salmon too? Let's see what we got on the the meats. I want like a salami, but I want an Italian salami. That's not bad, 100 grams. Let's see if they got the the prosciutto. We got the dried ham. Seeing gabagool. It's okay. Hey, Moy. <laughs> Can I try this dried ham? Yes, sir. Yeah, let me try a piece. Yes, Yeah, I think we'll get one of those uh, tenderloins. It's okay. Okay, 100 grams of that. Wow, good flavor. Wow. Homemade smoked salmon. What's salami here? These are always difficult. Hungarian. Coppa. There we go. Some coppa. That's expensive. It's a little rich for my blood, guys. Napoli. Let's try the Napoli. We'll see how that goes. And then we've got to get some whole milk. If they don't have whole milk, then I'll have to make a roux. I like it when they have the whole whipping. Oh, she's very delicate with her cutting. Oh, look at all that fucking ham. Fucking delicious, guys. I'm like an Italian on the inside. Yeah, I think we're gonna try this Napoli salami. And you better believe I'm not gonna edit any of this video. If you don't like it like this, you don't have to watch. Actually, this one looks really good too. getting it dialed in. Look at that. That's going to make such a good, such a good hoagie. So that was four or five dollars for like really good Italian ham. Yeah, we're gonna try this Napoli salami. Uh, can I try the Napoli salami? Yes. Bum, bum. Mm. 
you'll see lots of like chefs here during the day I, at the other one I, I bumped into so many chefs here at like high-end restaurants they tend to get a lot of their their stuff here because you just can't get this stuff anywhere else it's really just a simple matter of you just can't get it mmm okay 100 grams Oh, that's good, boys. And that's gonna cl clear us for the lunch, mate. Oh, that's good, guys. Perfecto. And that's about seven dollars. Anyway. Uh, how much is this one? This one? Long. Four, eight, four, eight, twelve, sixteen bucks for this one. Let's do it. It's a once in a thing. Come on. We rarely do this, so might as well. You know, she'll really like this. I'll cook it up real nice with some butter in a pan. Plop it in the oven for five minutes. Cook the rest off. It's a special day for us. We rarely get to come here, so. Come on, come on. See, they should have salmon on the other side. If I remember right, there's pre-cut salmon over here. I don't know that we necessarily need a smoked. Oh wow, they're cl kind of cleaned out. Let's see what they got over here. Pretty big salmon filet. Tuna's not bad too. These are pretty good prices actually. Let's see. Let's get this smoked. Let's get a little flavor. Let's go to Flavor Town. We got frog gras. <laughs> Pretty properly priced. Pretty aggressively good price. So yeah, we'll get it. 200 kg. The salmon looks nice. It's got a nice marble on it. Bake it in the oven. Get some fresh veggies. And that's 300, that's $12 for 300, 200 grams. How many grams this one is? 238. Like I said guys, this doesn't happen often. I think they got the lasagna or tart? What is, I don't know what that is. Got a lot of different lasagna. My lasagna is way better. I have some in the freezer still, so. Let's see, let me show you what else they have. 110 for 100 gram, that's not bad. Oh, she's getting some, some nice meats. So we'll come back, actually. Why, why wait? She'll still be here. Let's get the rest of the things we need. We need dairy. So we need to find where they're storing their milk. And we want the whole, whole thick milk. Because then I don't have to make a roux. This is the other cheeses they have. Let's see what the prices are looking at here. Yeah, everything's dropped. This was 120. The vintage is always 120. Okay, this is what we need here. Cooking cream. That's exactly what we need. They usually have one I like a little better. That, that'll work. 
This will work. Now I don't have to make a roux, which is very nice. Then we need a little bit of butter. Let's see. I want to get this salted. Of course we like our salt. I'm American. Okay, so that finishes off. I have the noodles for mac and cheese at home already. Uh, so we need to get some produce too. We need to get a red onion. Get a really nice tomato too. Let's see, let's, let's hunt out the tomato first. How's that sound, boys and ladies? Well, not the greatest. Let me see. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, these aren't the best um, tomatoes. Usually their produce is really good. Want a really nice red one too firm. Might have to get that. Might have to skip that here and go to uh, go to Vinmart. Oh, these aren't really the best. I've never seen their produce look like that. Quite odd. Let's see if we can find a good red on them. <clears throat> yeah, their produce is fucking shit. Very, very odd. I mean, this will work. Let's see if they got a decent lettuce. Maybe like pull the lettuce off the thing. It's pretty gangster. We're looking for like a sandwich lettuce, so. Something like this, this iceberg. I think a little fucked. Let's see if we got a better one. This one's good. So yeah, I'll pick up a tomato at home. Uh, Vinmart does pretty good at that stuff. So we'll just stick to what we know. I'm gonna go through a little checklist in my head here. Let's see. We've got all the stuff for the mac and cheese. We've got the lettuce. We've got the onion for the sandwich. I would like to get some American mayonnaise if they have it. Let's see if we can find that. And let's go get our 200 grams of the delicious smoked salmon. Oh, everybody's at, everybody's using her now. Oh, the salmon's getting bought up. We'll come back. We got the good bread at home. They've been sold out of uh, Kraft macaroni and cheese since since the pandemic. Isn't that crazy? I don't think it's been restocked yet either. Let's see how much this one is. 76 a gram? I think I like the smoke. The smoked salmon looks much nicer. It's got much nicer detail in the fat. Nice little pockets of fat. Stuff to make a salsa, and we'll get some chips for the salsa. Hopefully they got the good tortilla chips. They do. These are the big ones, the best ones in my opinion. A bag of these. We get some diced tomato. Let's see. I think that's over in Italy section. Yeah, here we go. Chopped tomatoes. Perfect. We can get the ones with garlic, actually. We'll get both. And then back up. Have a little extra, extra. Okay. Oh, they got taco shells back in stock. Like, this stuff... Look how expensive they are, like nearly eight dollars. Jalapenos, these were impossible to find during pandemic as well. I wonder if the mac and cheese is back. Like just crap. Let's see. 
Not that I see. Let's see. Yeah, we're looking for. There we go. Real mayonnaise. Find seriously good mayonnaise. Perfect for me. And then we want to get the actual yellow mustard, which I know they have as well. I want to get real ketchup too. I just don't want my bag to weigh 100 pounds when I'm walking home. Where are you at, yellow mustard? I'll come find you, don't worry. I'm coming for you, yellow mustard. I've never had this one. Let's just go with this one. I wonder how much the Heinz is. It's a shame they don't have the sugar, sugar-free one. Let's see. Okay, so we got chips for the salsa. I think we're kind of almost got everything. I don't know too much more we need, boys and ladies. These are good on a sandwich, but I don't have that kind of money to waste. We've already gone kind of crazy. Wow, put my mask back on. Be polite. We need to go back and get salmon from that kind woman. I think we've got everything. I can't think of too much more that we need, guys. Tyrell's good, but if I'm gonna eat chips, bad food, I'm gonna have chips and salsa. What else? Anything else we need? I think I have seasonings. I have all the seasonings I could need. All white vinegar, I do need that. It's gonna be heavy, but it's okay. I need a real white, like the Vietnamese vinegar is so much different, I don't know why. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a heavy bag. So let's go back and get the salmon before someone buys it all. The Italian's good, I think I have that at home still. So. Italian dressing, zesty herbs. Okay. I think everything we need, okay. we just got. We just need to get salmon from the, the kind woman. Ritz crackers. Let's try not to eat too many carbs. Let's see, she's still getting molested over there. Yep. Three more. The salmon? Oh. 200 grams of the salmon. Salmon. Small salmon. Yeah, 200. One is nine. No, just chunk. One chunk. And then I think that's it, guys. I'll show you a few of these down here. Oh, the camera got a little crooked. Whoops, sorry. We've got some tasty food coming up for the next few days here, boys. Uh, a little bit. A little bit over. Yeah, 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 that's good. Chicken liver. Okay, that's good. And then I'll get vegetables at, at uh, Vinmark. 
I'll show you down a few of these aisles and then we're gonna call it, man. I think that was really good. Come on. Dambi. Thank you. Quick breakfast. I don't eat breakfast. I'm not a cereal guy. When I was a stoner, maybe, but them days long past me. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna call it that. I think we're somewhere around a million, probably a million. So like 40, 30, 40 bucks. Like I said, we do this very rarely, so it's okay. Why not splurge a little? I think I'm gonna get a bagel, but then I'm gonna need cream cheese. It's okay, we'll get it. We're gonna do it. Hey, Molly. Uh, one sesame. Cream cheese is good, right? Maybe cream cheese is cheaper now, too. Oh, I can't wait to have a bagel. Come on. Okay, let's get the cream cheese. And I think we'll finish off with the, to go with the um, surf and turf, the mac and cheese, and then we'll do some broccoli. Some broccoli sauteed with the uh, onions and maybe a little bit of garlic. Let's see. Philadelphia did, did come down in price. Heritage is the cheapest though. Heritage is 85. I like it in the can though. But I mean, for that deal, let's see what else we got. Cream cheese, organic, 85K for this one. Real French style. I don't know. I don't know if that'll be good. Chat, if you guys know that that's good, let a, let a homie know. What's this one? Light? You don't go light when you get cheese? Smooth. I think this is good. We're on a budget. So that's about $3. But it'll last like a month. Can't think of anything else we need. Oh, let's get Winna Coconut if they have a good coconut. They tend to have really, really good quality coconuts here. Let's see. Let's see if we can find the woman a coconut. I always like to get her like a daily a daily fun thing that makes her really happy. It's the simple things in life. I should get some moon milk too, man. It's the best milk. Let me make sure it's the non-sugar one. Let me see. I can't tell, non-sugar, that's the one. So if you like American milk and you like vitamin D milk, this pretty much tastes exactly like it. I've tried all the milks here, and this one's the king. By like a large amount. Oh, these baby carrots could be pretty good. Saute these baby. Oh, we could do Brussels sprouts? Wow. We could do Brussels sprouts and like a baby carrot. Or even this raw. I think we'll just go to Finmart for that. It's so much cheaper. Let me see if there's coconut. We got all the cheeses. We got so much good stuff today, guys. I hope you really like the video. I know it's not, you know, like normal content, but I figured you would like to see, you know, how I grocery shop and how I buy things. Oh, there's there's a coconut. It's gonna be pricey, but she's gonna love it. Another 40K. But these are like these really good ones. You shake a coconut always to make sure it's juicy. My number one tip with coconut. Always shake it. Okay, and now I will bid you adieu. I thank you guys for watching. It's so long, we might make it uh, two parts. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. I'm not sure if we'll do two parts, but most likely two parts.
Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.